In this video, I'm going to look at uh, volumes of cons and pyramids. Now, before I look at volumes of cons and pyramids, I just want to look at um, some uh, specific uh, variables that you need to know about cons and pyramids. Now, what I have on the left, this one here, is what is called a con, right? And what I have here is what's called a pyramid. All right, so let's start with a con. This is the height of the cone, and this bit is the radius of the cone. So this one is the radius. All right. Um, so I can just call this radius. Um, for a pyramid, we have uh, the height as well. So that's the height of the pyramid, and this is called the best. Now, talking about the best, now the whole of this portion here that you see here, I'm just going to highlight it. All this, right? All this portion where basically the pyramid is sitting, all right? Um, this is called uh, the best. All right, here. Yeah. And the whole of this portion again, the whole of this portion is called the best all right so the whole of this portion here is called the best so this portion uh, this portion is called the best so why am i um really paying attention to these variables here because um, to write the for the formula for the pyramid and the, and the con are very similar. The formulas for the volume of a con and a pyramid are very very similar. So the formula for um, the volume of a con or a pyramid, so volume is equal to the area of the base um, multiplied by the height. Um, and then divide by three. All right. So what you need to do is find the area of the best. All right. So find the area of the best. Uh, and then once you find the area of the best, multiply that by the height, and you'll have um, the volume of uh, a pyramid or a cone. Now, just note that this formula here will be given in your exams so this formula this formula you will be given this formula formula in exams okay so you don't have to cram this formula you just need to know how to use it so you'll be given this formula in exams and what you're saying is the formula for the volume of a con or a pyramid is the area of the best so you need to identify the best multiply by the height and then you divide by your um, three so let's look at some examples on how to apply these formulas um, so find the volume um, of each pyramid or con. Now, here you can see that this is our best. So I'm going to start by identifying the best. So that's the best. All right. Here, that's the best. And here, that's our best. Okay. So what we have to do here is just find the area of the best, multiply it by the height, and then we divide by three. So here, area, um, sorry, volume will be volume will be the area of the best which is uh, um, 8 times 5 multiplied by uh, the height which is 15 and then you divide that by 3 and you'll end up with 200 um, centimeter cube um, B, again, what you have to do is uh, you have to start by finding the area of the best. Now, remember here, the radius is 30. So 
the area of the base will be pi multiplied by 30 multiplied by 30 and our height is um, 54 we divide that by 3 and we end up with uh, 50893.8 millimeter cube um then the last one see so volume again will be we start with the base and the base is a square so 8 multiplied by 8 multiplied by uh, the height which is 10 divided by 3 and that will give us uh, 213.3 centimeter cube all right so remember what i said in the beginning um you identify the best find the area of the best multiplied by the height divided by three all right find the area of the best multiplied by the height divided by three all the way so that's how you find um the volume of a pyramid or a cone